Welcome back to the show, everybody. I have a question that I want to share with you today that comes from Jason, and he writes, Hi, Ted. I love the show. I have a question for you. What are your thoughts on paid entries for industry publications, competitions, and shows? I want to start submitting my work for these, but I wonder if they are worth the money and time. Keep up the great work, Jason. Jason, thank you for your question. If you guys are not sure what he's talking about, just to clarify, there are a number of websites and actual print publications that every year do these photography annuals or award shows where you can submit work for an entry fee and it's usually judged and if you were selected you were featured and just to share some of the better ones i think with you this is a magazine this is actually an old one but this is a magazine called black and white magazine and it is kind of more catered towards the fine art side of things obviously all black and white work and this is their annual portfolio contest awards issue and they kind of open this up every year anybody can enter you submit a portfolio of work give them your entry fee and they have it judged and they put it all together and if you were selected you were featured in this issue and it's really well done. On the commercial end of things, uh, this is CA which stands for Communication Arts which is a very well known and very well respected publication. It is really nicely produced, beautifully printed and they cater really to the entire advertising and creative world. So they do a number of these annuals in addition to the magazine every year and they open them up for submissions and they are kind of catered towards different media. So they have an illustration annual they have a photography annual which is this one they have a graphic design annual so on and so forth advertising and they kind of feature the best work that's been done in the industry and this has gone on for a long time uh, they get really good judges who are very involved in the industry to come in and select the work that is chosen to be in the final magazine uh, really outstanding and every year when these come out both of these magazines I go purchase them and the reason is is because I'm dying to see what what is in? What is the cool work that people are doing right now? What is the curated aspect of this? And that really interests me. Now, as far as whether I recommend that this is worth your money or time to do, I have a very conflicted opinion on. And some of this is, I think, practical and some of it is more personal. For me, the whole idea of making a competition out of an art form is kind of difficult to get my head around. Now, as much as I enjoy looking at the work that's featured in these, the concept behind it is more hard for me to understand and to, or to accept. Um, there is a practicality to this, and historically, uh, before social media and definitely before the internet, this is how you got your work in front of the right people to, if you wanted to get work. And for instance, my dad was an illustrator, still is, and before the internet, this is how, I mean, he had to get his work in these magazines to get the promotion out of it, to get the right art directors or the right corporations or the right ad agencies to see his illustration work so he would get hired to do jobs. I think a lot of this has really changed over the last 10 to 20 years, obviously. Uh, first of all, the internet comes along. You could have a website and still getting people to see your website was a challenge which still made industry publications relevant um, and that competitive aspect. But now this has all kind of been replaced with social media. The value of the content that we create is changed completely. The, not only the value, but the context of content. Um, you know, we are in a different world right now and there are opportunities from social media that open up that have much more significant value to them and what you're able to create as an artist or a photographer. And I think this is what's much different than what we had before. And the way you reach your audience is very different. Now, I'm not saying that social media is easy. It's not. It's just as hard as anything else. It's as hard as entering these back in the day or even today. But it is an opportunity that's there and it doesn't cost anything necessarily. And it's a way to start to track the way people engage with your work. Now, I'm still not going into the competition side of any of this, but with what I do and with what I've been able to do with making these videos online and with social media, is I'm able to interact with people in a way, and it's much more fulfilling for me, and this, I realize we're talking about different careers here, but it's more fulfilling for me to reach people directly and be able to communicate something than it is to photograph something for an ad that's going to run in a medical journal or something like that. But anyway, I'm saying that the opportunities have opened up and the way that we also interact with people, um, whether it's an art director, whether it's a designer or somebody that might hire you, or whether it's an audience directly, that all has changed. On a personal level, the problem that I had with com the competitive nature of photography and turning photography into kind of a competitive sport per se, in a lot of this I will say, just to full disclosure, I've been on both sides of this coin. I have uh, actually three sides to the coin. I have paid to enter my work and never gotten in. I used to enter CA every year and this started in the late 90s when I was starting to work and here I'll put more pressure on this for you. This issue is from 2008, no 2006, sorry. 
The illustration that's on the front of the illustration annual that year was my dad. He did that. It was um, something he did at the Kentucky Derby. They chose it for the cover, and it did very well for him that year. Of course, that's even a little before social really started to take off, too. But for me personally, and my dad never put any pressure on me. He was always great. But for me personally, I looked up to him, and I wanted to get into this, this magazine really bad, and I would enter it every year. And then later on, I never got featured in CA, but I got featured in some other things, and I even won some awards. And that was a very different experience. And I've also judged these competitions too. So I've seen it really from all sides. The problem that I have is that when you're not getting in, you think you're not doing very well or you're, you're, you're not doing good work because you're not getting accepted into the community, so to speak. Um, if you are getting in, I think it creates the opposite problem that it gives you a little bit of a self or a false self sense of how good you actually are. You think you're better than you are. So that's the problem that I have with competition. That's the problems that I had with competition. And a lot of this is because I was younger and a lot less mature. And I put a lot of value into defining myself through whether or not I was able to get into publications. But that's a very dangerous thing to, to consider. So that's kind of the personal issue I have with it. But even at that, I just think that the world is changing really quickly. I think that social media provides a much different opportunity. Here's a story from experience. I have friends, I have several of them, who are photographers and they have been hired for very good sums of money from corporations because of their Instagram account. And that is a pretty big deal. Um, if you don't believe me, go look this up. There are a lot of industries. The fashion industry has done this. Photography is starting to do this. Um, it requires a pretty large following to get to that point. It's not easy to do. You can't just go in with 10 followers and expect a company to be interested in you like that. But it gives you an opportunity that if you have an engagement with an audience like that, for a corporation to come in and have access to you and your audience and they're willing to pay for that, and that's a job that didn't exist. This whole idea of being an influencer didn't exist 10 years ago. And so my advice to Jason or anybody who's wondering if, if shows are worth the money and time I mean, I know I've rambled a lot on here, but it comes down to what are your goals and what do you want to get out of this? Because if it's just something to decorate your resume, your CV with, I don't think that features or awards are going to go very deep. Um, and if you're looking for some kind of personal confirmation and that's why you're considering entering something like this, I definitely think you need to put up a red flag and reconsider. Um, and, and like I said, I still buy both these magazines when they come out every year because I am I, I'm really excited about seeing the work that they feature. It's just not something that I think I would recommend people to enter. I am interested in hearing you guys' opinions on this as well, and I'm sure you have plenty of them, so feel free to leave me a comment. And if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it, and subscribe to The Art of Photography. Until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Later.